some players got a lot more than that this offseason, which in terms of spending is the NFL's version of Black Friday and Cyber Monday combined. So some of these GMs may not have gotten their money's worth. So we're going to do a little game here, Tony. We're going to say buyer's remorse on some of these deals. Okay. So the Browns took over that huge contract of Odell Beckham. To date, they've only gotten two touchdowns out of him. Is there buyer's remorse in Cleveland? Uh, I, no, I don't think so, because I don't think it has too much to do with Odell Beckham. If, if anybody's going to have buyer's remorse, it should be Odell Beckham coming <laughs> over there. Because he gets there, he's thinking he's got this first-year head coach, Freddie Kitchens. He's not handling it that well. I think uh, the hype of Baker Mayfield, he hasn't really shown that he's that great quarterback yet. Yeah. I think he's going to. So I think if there's buyer's remorse, it's going to be from Odell Beckham, not from the Browns to Odell Beckham. Okay, so the Jets signed Le'Veon Bell to that four-year $52 million contract. He has yet to have 100 yards rushing. Buyer's remorse there, Mike. Uh, not at all. I think Le'Veon Bell is still one of the best running backs in the league. Still super talented. And while it might not st- show up on the stat sheets, Le'Veon is still a mismatch for safeties and linebackers. Yep. So with a banged up offensive line, you know, an offensive line that needs to get better and a quarterback that's still growing and maturing, you know, best years are still ahead for this guy. Okay, we'll reverse this one a little bit and do seller's remorse. Miami traded Ryan Tannehill and brought in the combination of Josh Rosen and <clears> Fitzpatrick. <throat> Looking at this, uh, what they've been able to, what he's been able to do in Tennessee is there seller's remorse in no, Miami? No, not at all. Happy for him, he's doing great. But you know, the NFL, you guys know better than anybody. It's what have you done for me lately? Mm-hmm. And when you look at his six-year career at Miami, he did not have a winning record as a starting quarterback, and he never, as a starting quarterback, took the team to the playoffs. So I think they may the right decision. Okay, let's turn our attention now to the Rams. They gave Jared Goff the big money this offseason. They also shipped Marcus Peters to Baltimore, then traded two first-round picks for Jalen Ramsey. Colin, should the Rams be feeling a little bit of buyer's remorse? Well, I, I've said this on my radio show several times. In the NFL, the Patriots rarely pay big money and never pay anybody early. The Rams have done the opposite. They pay everybody, and they pay many players early. So I do think there's buyer remorse. Jared Goff needs an offensive line in a running game to kind of complete his style. He's a beautiful passer of the football, yeah. but they have interior line issues. They don't have money now to solve them. They don't have first round picks to get the three or four best offensive linemen in the draft. And I think there's five or six teams in the NFL uh, that want those offensive linemen that they covet and don't have the picks. So I think they're in a little bit of trouble, not to mention that division, Kyle Shanahan, mm-hmm. uh, Seattle, Russell yeah. Wilson, Kyler Seems Murray. Tough. That's the toughest division now in football. Yeah.